Hey Harmonizers, welcome to this video with Miss Alicia, my thoroughbred prepping for the thoroughbred makeover. We are doing some obstacle schooling practice and in this video I'm going to show you guys two different obstacle parks, some different, very different obstacles. So this course here, this is at Sweetwater and uh, here we're prepping because we're hoping to do the trail course. So right now I've signed her up for freestyle and trail for the 2021 thoroughbred makeover, which we're pretty excited about. And here we are doing an obstacle course. And what the main thing for Alyssa is she's so brave with the obstacle. She'll do virtually anything for her. It's more to do with her confidence being away from other horses. And if she tends to get even a little bit kind of nervous or worked up, she doesn't have very good emotional control yet, so she can kind of lose her mind and go a little bit bonkers, which you guys have seen in some previous videos. So here it's kind of neat because you can see it's a very long course and you kind of work your way away from other horses. There's a paddock on the right side you can see in the video and there are horses that kind of move along there. And the hope for me here was I started on her back, didn't do anything on the ground, other than just a small little walk before we entered the obstacle course area. And I wanted to see if she could kind of keep her, her mind together and be focused for the course and not need to get off. So, so my goal was to stay on her the entire time and not do any obstacles on the ground. So I brought her out to this little area here, did a little bit of warm up, trot and canter and stuff like that before doing some of the other obstacles which she did uh, pretty well. And then here's a little look at cantering and we're going to come into kind of a unique little jump. The first time I came into it, we had a little bit of a miscommunication on our striding and she ended up uh, popping me up over the fence. You're going to see that in a second. And I'm not sure how she would have reacted if those other horses didn't kind of come follow us in the field. There you can see that was the pop fence. <laughs> Um, but we just, you can see, I kind of let go of my rein so that way I wouldn't hurt her face and just kind of keep going. And what I really like is that she was honest and she just kept going with that really flowy stride. And you can see the, the horses, when we rode by there, they were on the other side of the fence. They kind of followed us down. So it would have been nice if they didn't do that. Cause I would have loved to see how Alicia would do riding completely away from them. But I was just thankful that they didn't go galloping around or do anything really crazy during the whole process. <laughs> We went over their kind of plywood bridge there. It's really easy bridge, very, very flat and not really scary or anything. And then here's a little look at doing a gate. So we haven't done a whole lot of gates off property. She hasn't had a very calm mindset being able to do the gates. So this was nice that we were able to come around and, and do this little gate here. It was very, very narrow. It was kind of a tricky gate to do. And one of the things when you're doing a trail obstacle for the gate is you don't want to take your hand off of the gate until you have it fully closed. This one didn't have a latch or anything, so I made it a little easier. Here's a little look at the side pass over the logs. And kind of way back in the beginning, there's a video of Alicia doing some sideways over logs at an off-site obstacle school. And she ended up kind of getting a little bit upset and throwing a little bit of a tantrum. So she's definitely come a long way. We're able to come up, we side past the logs in both directions. She's doing that pretty smooth, pretty straight. So it's starting to go really, really well there. And we're going to do the side pass going back the other way. And because she's starting to do more obstacles and getting more confident, you'll notice that I'm using less positive reinforcement in the form of cookies. I'll give her some scratches and I'm using verbal praise and then she just gets the cookies after she does a series of obstacles so that way she, when we get to the competition she's like hey or she's not thinking hey why aren't I getting a cookie after every obstacle so in the beginning I start off with cookies after every obstacle and then we start to take them away this she did really well because they're pretty tightly spaced little logs and she was able to collect and do the one strides in between really nicely. That's a little teeter bridge over there that I'm going over. It's a pretty easy teeter though. There's not much of a, a wobble to it, so it's pretty easy. Here's another little look at a couple more little logs. And she collected so nicely and listened really well for what I wanted. And then I was pretty happy because we do a flying lead change here. And she was just late with her bum for just the one stride there and gets her bum. So I was really happy about that. That's probably one of the first clean flying changes 
off-site that she's done because normally she doesn't have her mind all that well. We're actually able to do some of our halt canter transitions, starting to get more comfortable and confident, which is great. It's more like riding at home rather than riding off-site where she tends to not think as clearly. And she goes over the little logs super easily, really listening really nicely for those strides. I'm really happy with that being a total superstar there. We overshot our halt marker here. This is, uh, we're going to back through these tires here and they're kind of intimidating because they're all wonky different shapes and they're black and it's a very winding path through here. But I was happy that Alicia did this really, really well. She uh, bumped off the sides a little bit, wasn't 100% clear on where I wanted her butt to go, but she didn't panic or anything, didn't get upset or anything like that. And I just kind of do little takes and gives, little releases along the way of getting this back through. It's pretty long back through and she's really not phased by any of this stuff whatsoever. She's pretty confident when it comes to the actual obstacles themselves, as long as she doesn't get too distracted thinking about other horses or thinking that she's away by herself. She's actually really awesome. And hopefully that's going to just get better and better. You guys are going to see I've got lots of off-property experiences booked. I'm really trying my hardest to set her up for success and give her lots of um, schooling opportunity. Here's another little tire pedestal bridge kind of thingy that we're going over that. And so we're doing all of these off-site experiences that are not part of competitions to so just get that experience. That one there, I left the sound on the video so you could hear how crinkly that tarp thing was. I thought it was kind of scary, but Alicia didn't think so. And then here, when we get to the water, she gets a little bit stressed about it. She's not really sure if she wants to do it or not. It's a little bit of a scarier water area because it's a bit more muddy. It's not super inviting. She kind of comes down and looks at it a little bit. I'm just being super patient and trying not to escalate her emotions because she tends to start to kind of escalate and not handle her emotional control very well. My job is to kind of say, you can do it and be very encouraging, but not being forceful and not pushing her into that higher level of anxiety. So I just kind of do a lot of sitting and just kind of steering and keeping her nose straight and just uh, hanging out with her essentially until she realizes that it's going to be okay. So here's a little look at her. This is actually the second time going through the water because the first time we weren't filming because I wasn't sure how long it was going to take her and didn't want to use up all the battery on the phone. So there's her going through the water, did really well. So then I decided to just hop off and let her eat some grass and make sure she could know that it's a, a really good note for her. And then here is a different offsite schooling. So this is at Dream Feather Farm. You guys have already seen the videos of uh, the Mustangs doing this obstacle park, or I brought Elon, sorry, just one of the Mustangs. So you guys already saw his video. And this is Alicia doing some obstacles there, going through the ditches. So these were two very successful offsite obstacle schooling, which were way better than the one when we went to Whitehaven. And I ended up finishing with Emily leading me around because she felt so tense. So here's these were two really good obstacle schoolings where she felt really good. I could ride her. I did do some obstacles on the ground at this particular location first. And here we even did kind of mimicking a horse show where the other horse that I came with, Chili, he's standing at the gate. And then I ride Alicia into the ring and we do, we're going to do a tiny little course of obstacles, just a few little things. So that way we could practice riding away from the other horse. And purposely, I kind of went pretty far into the park to do a couple obstacles, making sure that I was getting away from the other horse. He's still within eyesight, but she's having to ride totally away from him. Here doing the back through, which is a good test of do I have my horse's brain. So we're going to go through there and get the turn, which she does pretty nicely. So that's looking really nice. And she's not scared of going through the back through no hesitation there all of that's really looking fantastic and they have such a wide variety of obstacles at this park which is fantastic up and over the teeter bridge she's not bothered at all by things moving she's really 
a pretty brave horse when it comes down to it. She's pretty easy going for most of the obstacles. So this is pretty great that she's doing all these things here. And then this is the water box, the splash box. You can see it splash with the water through the holes of the plywood as she goes through there. So that was all really awesome. So I'm really happy that we've had two excellent offsite schooling opportunities over the obstacles. The next time she sees obstacles is going to be part of a horse show doing a mountain trail competition. I'm hoping that we've done enough to set her up for success. This is her back at the trailer, just chilling with Chili. Uh, pretty relaxed there and happy to be with her buddy. So wish us luck at the horse show. And otherwise, I want to thank you guys for watching.